Hello, this is the informational overview of the world's climate events. Earthquakes Over the last two weeks, there have been more than 190 earthquakes of 4.4 or higher magnitude. The University of Utah, which analyzes the seismic activity in Yellowstone, has reported 46 earthquakes in Yellowstone National Park in December 2015. This number has decreased by three times compared with November 2015. Seismic activity in Yellowstone remains at low background level. On January 11th, an earthquake of 6.5 magnitude was recorded at a depth of 38 kilometers on Talaud Islands in Indonesia. On January 14th, earthquakes of magnitude 6.2 and 5.0 were recorded on Hokkaido Island in Japan at a depth of 222 and 57 kilometers correspondingly. Here, on January 15th, there was a powerful earthquake of 6.7 magnitude at a depth of 60 kilometers. As a result, the earthquake disrupted the work of air and railway service. Japan Meteorological Agency managed to predict the earthquake only several minutes before the first shock started in the region. The alarm system was created after the events of March 11, 2011, when Japan was hit by the Great East Japan earthquake with a magnitude of 9, the most powerful for the whole period of seismic monitoring in the country. Japanese specialists and authorities knew the exact time and place of the tragedy only 11 minutes before its start. You can find additional information in the report of Alatra science scientists on the problems and consequences of global climate change on Earth, effective ways to solve these problems. Among earthquakes recorded over the last week, Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 5 and 5.7 at a depth of 10 km. Santa Cruz, 5.1 at a depth of 48 km. Baltic states, Belarus, Russia, northwestern part, 5.2 at a depth of 10 km. Indian Ridge, 5.9 at a depth of 10 km. Talaud, Indonesia, 5.2 at a depth of 15 km. Tonga, 5.2 at a depth of 10 km. Tibet Autonomous Region, 5.4 at a depth of 10 km. Mindanao, Philippines, 5.4 at a depth of 25 km. Fiji, 5.7 at a depth of 10 km. Makuri, 5.3 at a depth of 10 km. Volcano eruptions Indonesia On January 10, the Mount Sinabung volcano located on the island of Sumatra threw up a new column of ash. The Mount Tigon volcano, which has been sleeping since 2008, is waking up now on the Flores Island. The danger level in the region has been raised to level 3 out of 4. Nicaragua On January 12th, Momotombo volcano unleashed a column of ash and steam, 3 kilometers in the atmosphere. Chile the active Copawa volcano erupted a new ash column into the atmosphere on January 13. Salvador On the 14th of January, San Miguel volcano emitted ash up to 1.5 km high. Peru Yubinas volcano unleashed a column of ash 3 km into the atmosphere. Snowfalls USA On January 10th, the southeast coast of Lake Erie, New York, was hit by a storm. A drastic decrease of temperature during the storm caused icing. Cars were trapped under 10 cm of ice. On January 14th, a severe snowfall in the Great Lakes District paralyzed traffic. The city of Syracuse, New York, was covered in 34 cm of snow. Italy. On the 12th of January, a snow avalanche descended in the northwest of the country. There was zero visibility for several minutes in the Sirvinia mountain resort. Belarus On January 12th, the Niela cyclone brought 16 mm precipitation to some places in the country. This makes up half of the monthly norm of some cities. Almost 800 residential areas were left without electricity. On the 16th of January, Emma cyclone hit Belarus. 
orange danger level was announced in the country. Floods Portugal Severe floods hit the central and north regions of the country. Italy On the 12th of January, a severe storm hit the port city Savona. Winds reached 28 meters per second. Heavy rains caused floods in Spanish provinces A Coruna and Pontevedra. Roads and ground floors of some buildings were flooded. More than 700 accidents happened on the road. Other events Australia. A storm swept across the territory of Sydney. Winds reached 34 meters per second. More than 80,000 households were left without electricity. January 13, a sandstorm passed through the state of New South Wales. China, January 14, a lake dam broke in the province of Hubei. The breach caused flooding in the residential area near the dam. No information was available on people affected by the breach. South Africa, severe sandstorms swept across the territory of the country. Such storms are typical for the period of August through November, but not for January. Hawaii, on January 11th, Kilauea volcano erupted balls of glass. These balls are created due to the change in temperature, when lava fragments cool down rapidly and freeze. There is a legend among the locals, according to which a goddess of all the volcanoes, named Pele, lives here. Glass balls, one and a half centimeter in diameter, represent the tears of Pele, and the cooled fragments of lava, the hair of the goddess. The tears of Pele are hollow inside. Their surface is very fragile and can be destroyed easily. Thousands of dead squid washed up on the beach of Santa Maria Island in Chile. Locals say that squid washes up on the beach every year, but not as many as this year. It is believed that the cause of such a phenomenon is connected to rising of internal waters on the surface and decline in the level of oxygen in the water. In the south part of India, in the state of Tamil Nadu, more than 90 short thin islet whales washed the shore. 36 of the mammals were brought back to sea, but they appeared to be disoriented, and some threw themselves back out on the beach. Scientists still don't know the cause of such a phenomenon. On January 13, light pillars eliminated Murman's Russia, and on the 15th of January, people could observe similar light pillars in the state of Iowa, USA. As reported by scientists in the Alatra Science Report on the problems and consequences of global climate change on Earth, effective ways to solve these problems. New developments in the field of climatic engineering offer great opportunities and prospects for further scientific activity in this direction. They make it possible to monitor climate, determine the course of events related to climate change based on multi-factor analysis, to identify compensatory mechanisms of nature and launch the relevant local or general actions aimed at changing climate conditions. The latest developments by our scientists in this field make it possible already today to identify quite accurately the focal or the so-called problem area on the planet, which will trigger irreversible changes in the near future. All this knowledge is sure to help people look differently at the possibilities of mankind in the context of the current processes in nature and increase the effectiveness of preparation for global natural disasters by many times. It is important to raise the level of social awareness concerning problems of the nearest future. All socially active people need to take an active role in the process of uniting global community, ignoring all egoistic, social, political, religious and other barriers used to divide people artificially. Only if we unite the efforts of world community in action, and not just in words, will we be able to prepare most people of the planet for those planetary, climatic, international, economic, global shocks and changes which are forthcoming. Each one of us can do a lot of useful things in this direction. By uniting, people increase their abilities tenfold, 